Okay, raise your hand if you agree. Beauty and skincare can be confusing as heck. It's so hard to know if you're using anything right. Some people just slather on a cream and hope for the best. That's me. But there is a right way to use most products. And Bahar is here to break it all down for you in today's Beauty Break. Hey, Bahar, you're going to make, how do I use that? A question of the past. What item are we tackling first? We're going to be covering off cleansing bombs. Now, cleansing bombs work by breaking down dirt, oil, makeup, uh, sunscreen as well. However, you might be a little bit confused as to how to use them because unlike a water-based cleanser, which you would apply on damp or wet skin, you actually want to apply a cleansing balm on dry skin and really massage and work that into the skin to help break down that dirt, that oil, all that makeup. And uh, this is a really good option for people who have drier skin. I have both dry and sometimes sensitive skin and I find this leaves me without that tight feeling at the end and I love me anything that has a banana extract in it so one I've been using for about a week or so right now is new from Quo Beauty it is their banana cleansing balm it's got conditioning agents hydrating ingredients and it has that banana extract in it which I love but it's going to give you that deep cleanse and still leave your skin feeling fresh and dewy and glowy at the end Okay, so a bomb for your skin and you put that on your makeup and then you take it all off. Oh yeah, melts everything away. Ooh, I love that, okay. Everyone should be using this next item, am I right? Number one, the order in which you need to apply your sunscreen. So first, finish your skincare, apply your sunscreen, and then if you wear it, put your makeup on top. Please don't rely solely on the SPF in your makeup because that goes into the second most important aspect of SPF is you have to apply enough and there has to be an even layer for any sunscreen to actually do its job. If you're wearing your hair up, please apply sunscreen to the back of your neck and top of your ears. If you're wearing a V-neck, please extend the sunscreen screen down so uh, it's about covering every bit of exposed skin and I'm only talking about shoulders up right now so if you are wearing your teeth like keep going down to every bit that happens to be exposed I find mineral sunscreens work a little bit better on my skin because my skin's a little bit sensitive so for the past month I've been using this one from Olay it's their Regenerist mineral sunscreen that's also a hydrating moisturizer it's got that broad spectrum protection which we're all supposed to be looking for it's also their first 100% mineral sunscreen with zinc oxide and then it has B, vitamin B3 and then glycerin as well so you're gonna get that protection from your sunscreen but you're still gonna be getting that hydrating aspect as a moisturizer in it too Okay, good to know. Now, Bahar, how do we make sure we're getting the full benefits of our vitamin C products? Uh, here's the laundry list of what vitamin C can do because everyone wants it, everyone needs it in their routine so it can help minimize fine lines, stimulate collagen, evening out uh, dark skin tone. If you ask it nicely, it'll pay off your credit card bill, I promise you. <laughs> um, but two things you need to keep in mind when it comes to your vitamin C. Number one, the percentage of your vitamin C is super important. About 10% of that ingredient in your product, and most likely you should find it in a serum, is probably going to be that good, most researched amount or percentage percentage of vitamin C and then number two you really have to make sure that you use this consistently please like this is not magic it, it works with science just keep using it consistently and I like this one in particular from CeraVe it's your skin renewing vitamin C serum and I like this because it does have that 10% pure vitamin C and it states that outright it's developed with dermatologists so that's a nice bonus but then there's also uh, three different ceramides in this as well as hyaluronic acid in this so it's kind of like a triple hit combo serum so you only need to use the one thing as a serum before you move on okay and what have you got next for us that you're gonna break down so that we know how to use it facial mists I think everyone has them and everyone's like oh it's so lovely and you know <laughs> spritz during the day randomly absolutely great but realistically please use your facial mist actually in your skincare routine because damp skin is kind of like a sponge so it absorbs anything that you put on it that much better and little light layers of sheer hydration are actually going to do your skin that much better than slapping on something super thick so this one from Walita is their sheer hydration moisture mist and I love it because it's got super hydrating uh, ingredients in it, including lightweight prickly pear which is a super thumbs up on it and then there's also glycerin in this which is a massive humectant and if you have a beauty checklist this is vegan uh, it's a vegan formula and it's also free from synthetic fragrances phthalates as well as preservative okay B you have one more item to teach us about what have you got 
Okay, this one's super fun because it's a, well, it's a form of waterless toothpaste. So these are toothpaste tablets. And uh, when a product is waterless, it tends to need less uh, preservatives in it. Also, we might not realize those toothpaste tubes that we have, unless a manufacturer goes out of their way to make them recyclable, they're actually not very environmentally friendly. So the idea is you take one of these tabs, you pop it in your mouth and you chew it, and then you wet your toothbrush and you go ahead and begin brushing and that creates that paste. Rinse and you spit and you're done. And I love the idea of these because they are super travel friendly. This one as well from Hello is their whitening toothpaste tablet. So you're getting that bonus of a whitening effect on it. It has a peppermint and tea tree oil flavor for that super magical burst of, uh, of like freshness in your breath. Mm -hmm. And then again, if you have that beauty checklist, this guy is vegan and he's also Leaping Bunny certified, which is a super thumbs up on that end. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, I might try that one. You are such a good teacher, Professor Bahar. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> She's got <laughs> such great